Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use the CSS transform scale property to change the size of an element. To change the scale of an element, CSS has the transform property along with its scale function. Uh, the following code example doubles the size of all paragraphs of all paragraph elements on the page. Interesting. I've never seen this one before uh, outside of doing these tutorials. Increase the size of the element with the ID of ball2. Okay, so we're looking at ball2, which is the ID right here. Um, remember class, you use a period, and then for ID, you use uh, ball2. Um, so we want to increase the size of the element with ball2 to 1.5 times its original size. So if this doubles it, I'm going to guess that transform the scale to 1.5 is probably how you get to 1.5 times its size. Um, they've left the space open here. If we put it, this in here, uh, we see that it's uh, doubled in size, and we want, but we can. We're trying to get it to go to 1.6 its size, and so um, this might be what they're looking for. If we run the tests, interesting, they pass. Yeah, so um, we could create a new div with the class equal to ball, and then the ID doesn't even matter. It's interesting that they have spaces here. That's actually a uh, that's kind of a bug, unimportant bug really. Um, and then if we do that, then we can create, this will create us a third ball. Uh, and because this one doesn't have these uh, ball elements, like these IDs here, it's uh, aligned just to the left of the page. So our new ball elements, this one, and because it has no uh, CSS that tells it where to go with like these left percentage signs or the transform, we don't have that same situation. But we could probably make it something, make this a little bit more interesting, make this one like ball three, and then uh, you know make this ball three, and then we can use our own CSS selectors in here, and we could make it uh, margin of auto to put it into the middle. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. This is just something that I like to kind of show you guys because it gives us an idea of how you can, um, you know, actually make actions on these things. If we could scale this thing up to 100%, it's just going to probably take over the whole page. Uh, that's 100 times the size of what it was. But if we do it to 15, it only takes up half the page. But this would be a, a way that you could just make like a cool looking background for your website or something like that. Uh, obviously, the instructions don't tell us that we need a third ball that looks different. So we'll just get rid of that and run the tests. Everything passed and uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you in the next video.